a race track on a rooftop. Yep, Italians don't just make fast cars, they build the wildest test tracks in the strangest of places. Well, I am talking about Fiat's Lingotto factory, where cars weren't just built, they were sent straight to the rooftop for a high speed shakedown. Let's rewind back to 1923. Fiat, being the absolute mad geniuses they were, decided that the regular old boring factories weren't their vibe and they needed something revolutionary. So they built Lingotto, a five story factory where raw materials entered the ground floor and then bam, fully assembled cars rolled out straight onto the one kilometer test track in the sky. And this wasn't just some tiny little loop, <laughs> no sir, it had steeply banked turns. Theoretically, drivers could push their Fiats to their absolute limits. Theoretically. Because in reality, the tight corners made high speed turns a bit, a bit sketchy. For decades, Lingotto was a symbol of Italian engineering brilliance. Over 80 different Fiat models were built here, and at its peak, 12,000 workers made sure the assembly lines never stopped. Even the legendary architect Le Corbusier called it one of the greatest industrial buildings ever. And let's be honest, if your factory has its own rooftop racetrack, it kinda deserves that title. But why am I calling it a racetrack and not a test track? Well, the track was made so that Fiat's drivers could test the limits of the newly assembled cars. And occasionally the track was also used to host races. Though detailed records of such events are limited. The most recent one was in 2011. A Vespa racing event took place on the rooftop organized by Red Bull. <laughs> of course, it has to be Red Bull. But like all great things, Lingotto had its final lap. By the 1980s, Fiat realized that maybe, just maybe, a five-story car factory wasn't the most efficient way to do things anymore. So in 1982, the doors were shut. And for a while, it looked like it would just disappear. And then enter Renzo Piano, the famous Italian architect, took one look at Lingotto and said, Nah, let's make it fancy. And so it got a full blown glow up. Today it's a shopping mall, a concert hall, a cultural center, you name it. And the rooftop? It's a massive garden with over 40,000 plants. People now go there to sip espresso and do yoga, which let's be honest is way less exciting than those tire squealing test drives. But yeah. So guys, what do you think about this century old engineering marvel? Tell me in the comments below. And as always, stay classy, stay curious and see you in the next one.